After leaving the military, I became an institutional investor investing in extensively around the world on every continent. I have traveled to over 50 countries. I believe hands down we live in the greatest country in the world. What I am outlining is fact. I know it is fact because I lived it. I am the CEO of Cinehawk Holdings, which was a partnership between the Chinese operating through CEFC Chairman Yi and the Biden family. I was brought into the company to be the CEO by James Gilliar and Hunter Biden. The reference to, quote, the big guy, end quote, in the much publicized May 13, 27 emails is in fact a reference to Joe Biden. The other, quote, JB, end quote, referenced in that email is Jim Biden, Joe's brother. Hunter Biden called his dad, quote, the big guy, end quote, or, quote, my chairman, end quote, and frequently re referenced asking him for his sign-off or advice on various potential deals that we were discussing. I've seen Vice President Biden saying he never talked to Hunter about his business. I've seen firsthand that that's not true, because it wasn't just Hunter's business, they said they were putting the Biden family name and its legacy on the line. I realized the Chinese were not really focused on a healthy financial return on investment. They were looking at this as a political or influence investment. Once I realized that Hunter wanted to use the company as his personal piggy bank by just taking money out of it as soon as it came from the Chinese, I took steps to prevent that from happening. The Senator Johnson report connected some dots in a way that shocked me. It made me realize the Bidens had gone behind my back and gotten paid millions of dollars by the Chinese, even though they told me they hadn't and wouldn't do that to their partners. I would ask the Biden family to address the American people and outline the facts so I can go back to being irrelevant. And so I am not put in a position to have to answer those questions for them. I do not have a political ax to grind. I just saw behind the Biden curtain and I grew concerned with what I saw. The Biden family aggressively leveraged the Biden family name to make millions of dollars from foreign entities even though some were from communist-controlled China. God bless America. Tony Bobulinski. So when you filter all this down, what does this come down to? The Biden sold access and influence. While Joe Biden was vice president of the United States, and afterwards, and frankly, I believe as the facts come out, even before he was vice president and he, when he was a senator. The Biden sold access and influence to communist entities. They destroyed our national security. The communist entities that they developed these relationships, financial, I, I would say treasonous relationships with, were China, Russia, Ukraine, Romania, Kazakhstan, that we know of to date. But I am absolutely certain that there were more relationships, money laundering activity with other countries. And that money flowed through their bag man, Hunter Biden. He was the bag man. And he distributed it to Joe Biden to his brother, to Joe Biden's brother, Jim Biden, and to a number of other political players, possibly even Obama. Now, how do we know that? Well, this is an interesting article produced by Brooke Singman. Kamala Harris, prominent Democrats, Listed as key contacts for Biden family business venture products and projects. What? I know. You didn't hear it in the bought off lamestream fake media. Exclusive. A list of key domestic contacts for a joint venture inviting Jim and Hunter Biden and now bankrupt CEFC China Energy Company 
included former Vice President Joe Biden's current running mate, Senator Kamala Harris, among other prominent Democrats. Like, who else? Well, other people that were signed on as key domestic contacts for the Chinese to utilize. Kamala Harris. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. Senator Amy Klobuchar, you know, she ran for president from Minnesota. So, oh, this one won't shock anybody. Remember, she this next one had a, a, a driver that was working for the Communist Chinese Party for 20 years, right? Senator Dianne Feinstein. Hmm. Senator Kristen Gillibrand from New York. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. So when he wasn't sending COVID-positive patients to COVID-negative nursing homes and killing thousands in New York, Pierce. Andrew, well, he was a, uh, what do they call him, quote, key domestic contacts with the Chinese. Isn't that special? New York City, oh, Mayor Bill de Blasio. So when he wasn't playing, painting Black Lives Matter on Park Avenue in front of Trump Tower, he was a key domestic contact for the communist Chinese government. Former Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe, you know, the guy who's really tight with the Clintons and kind of ran their operations. Yeah, shocking. And also, shocking here, ready? California Governor Gavin Newsom. Well, those folks uh, have a lot of splaining to do, Lucy. Another piece of information that you're not going to get through the bought off lame stream fake media. This was actually just put forward through fantastic investigative journalists Mary Fanning and Alan Jones. Remember, Hunter Biden laptop uh, was turned into the FBI in December of 2019. And everybody's, this is terrible. I mean, they, people knew about these money laundering operations with China, with Russia, with Ukraine, with Kazakhstan, with Romania, just to name a few, with the Biden family and how it was used for influence peddling and how Biden had sold his office as senator and as vice president. And after, I mean, I, I think if you look at his income, him and his wife's income in 2016, it was $397,000 or something like that. And then starting in 2017, 18 and 19, the, the income was combined in those three years, $16 million. $579,000. Where do you think that came from? Uh, right there, right I just told you. But as bad as it was about the laptop being turned in in December 2019, they didn't do anything. Guess what? It gets worse. Fanning and Jones just put out this, this piece of investigative journalism in the last day. And the bought off lamestream fake media hasn't touched it. In a nutshell. The FBI, the FBI, when Comey was director of the FBI, you'll find that shocking. And now Ray, who's been there for years, you'll find that shocking. The FBI had this information about Hunter Biden that's on his laptops, all the emails, all the pictures, all the videos, you know, with him, with potential, as I understand it, underage girls, including maybe, well, I'm not going to go there. You're not going to go there. Uh, that they've had the information actually since 2015 when the whistleblower turned it into the FBI. 2015. They've had it all along. Deep sixed it. Since 2015, the FBI Department of Justice hid secret evidence proving Hunter and Joe Biden's China ties, says CIA whistleblower. In August 2015, CIA contractor turned whistleblower Dennis Montgomery, we've talked about him before, and this, and this illegal surveillance platform called the Hammer that he developed that was, that was initially used to monitor terrorists internationally. It was flipped by Obama in February 2009. Obama, Brennan, Clapper, Biden, Comey, Mueller were all involved in this, utilized it for their own privatized illegal surveillance platform to get dirt on people so they could leverage them and blackmail them. In August 2015, CIA contractor turned whistleblower Dennis Montgomery provided the FBI and Department of Justice with evidence stored on 47 hard drives that implicates Robert Hunter Biden, son of former Vice President Joe Biden, in illegal activities, Montgomery states. 
Montgomery turned over the, to the FBI were 10,000 pages of documents regarding Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, according to Montgomery. The 10,000 pages of documents regarding Hunter Biden and Joe Biden included videos and images. Going all the way back to 2003, Montgomery maintains the U.S. government continuously targeted Biden and Hunter Biden with electronic surveillance via the hammer. Why? Because it involved international activities. Remember, the platform, the hammer, was initially used to monitor illegal activities occurring internationally. It, apparently, through what's been said here, is they picked up these illegal transactions occurring, these illegal activity, as far back as 2003 with Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. And nobody did anything. Well, who was president then? That would be George W. Bush. Well, why wouldn't Bush do anything? Because he's a deep state globalist himself. We've said that from the very beginning. We've gotten a lot of grief. I said this, our radio show, Operation Freedom, is now 10 years old, 10 year anniversary. One of the first statements I made on the radio was the day Ronald Reagan left office in January 1989, our country forever changed because every person who has occupied that office since him, and at that time, that was George H.W. Bush, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama, were all owned and operated by a criminal syndicate. That syndicate, what you, New World Order crowd, globalist syndicate, deep state. I made that statement 10 years ago, got a tremendous amount of grief for it, I stand behind it today. And this is yet another piece of evidence that supports that. The article goes on, Montgomery as a CIA contractor worked for John Brennan and James Clapper. Montgomery became a whistleblower upon seeing firsthand how the Obama administration had turned the hammer against America. The bottom line in this article, the FBI and Department of Justice knew what Hunter Biden and Joe Biden were doing. They had the proof. They buried that evidence that showed America was being redistributed and sold out to her adversaries. Communist ones at that. More shoes are going to drop in the coming days, in the coming weeks. And it's about time. And why? It's because of patriots like General Michael Flynn, Tony Bobolinsky, whistleblowers such as Dennis Montgomery, citizens such as you, who are going to take this information and network it to your friends, your families, your coworkers, your neighbors. You know, it's interesting. Since this Hunter Biden stuff hit, you know, I, I live in the People's Republic of Ann Arbor, okay? So there's still some signs out there, impeach Bush. I mean, these, these are the loons you have to deal with. Here's what I started to see this past weekend. Since the release of this Hunter Biden information, even out there, out there, the People's Republic of Ann Arbor, if you hear him, you can hear him kind of scratching at the windows as I do these videos. People started to take their Biden-Harris lawn signs down. They can't even take it. Take this information. Don't be afraid. Don't be mean. But just say, I notice you have that lawn sign. Why, why are you supporting someone who is deeply invested in a money laundering operation with the communist Chinese and communist Russia and with Ukraine, with criminal activity, Kazakhstan, Romania? Why? Why are you supposed you seem like a good person? You seem like a smart person. Why? Why? If it's because you don't like Trump, well, okay. Okay. But understand what Trump has done. He hasn't started a war like Obama or any of his predecessors. 
he's actually promoted peace. Just look at the Middle East. Look at the, the Balkans. Just cut taxes. He got the economy to a point where it's one of the best it has been until the deep state through China unleashed their virus. They had to try to do their part to get him out of office because they needed Joe in office because they owned him as is evident through the Hunter Biden laptop. They owned him. So, yeah, they released the virus from their lab in Wuhan, and then they willfully walked it into Europe, but also targeted the United States. And if you don't think President Trump handled things correctly, go back to January 29th, 2020. There were five cases in the United States at the time, and he shut down travel from China. And when he did so, Joe Biden, who's owned by China, so now we know why he said these statements, that it was a terrible mistake that the President Trump shut down travel from China, that President Trump was a xenophobe for doing so. The truth of the matter? is because President Trump did that. He saved hundreds of thousands of lives in our country minimum, and possibly a couple million lives. No, you don't have to be mean, but you do need to open people's eyes. And that's what we try to do. We hope that this YouTube channel continues we don't know. But we'll always be at DaveJanda.com. We have the free, the public side. But we're the real meat of the matter. The extra shows, the extra content where I go into depth that I cannot go into on YouTube or on a radio show because they would be censored out. Is with the subscription platform. $9 a month, biggest bang for the buck. Stop your cable bill. That's all propaganda. So you're paying 100 bucks for cable? Can it. Pay 9 bucks a month for what we do on DaveJanda.com. And believe me, you will be more educated, more empowered than you ever will be by watching the bought-off lamestream fake media. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.